Some ornamental fish farms in Singapore are embracing new technology to lower costs and improve breeding. This as smaller players exit the scene due to uncertainty over land leases. Singapore's biggest farm, Kian Hu Fish Farm, is pioneering a new system to breed freshwater fish like guppies and goldfish. Charlotte Lim finds out how the industry is staying afloat despite challenges in Landscare Singapore. These arowana are the most highly prized species at Chienhu Fish Farm, with one swimming up to nearly $22,000. But they're not the ones keeping the tails ringing. According to the farm, buyers from around the world are still hooked on familiar favourites such as goldfish and guppies. While demand has risen by 10% post-COVID, things don't always go swimmingly. The lack of space and rising energy costs are challenges. That is why the farm is investing heavily in breeding technology. Traditional uh, ornamental farmers in the region, they are still using primitive methods like in the outdoor ponds where they face challenges in uh, the climate and also fish diseases. So we are investing new technology where we have a high biosecurity and the costs of the farming can be brought down by 50% like this tank system, which is capable of breeding fish in half the time. The water quality is better and fish absorb nutrients faster, leading to better survival rates. Plus, it does not discharge waste water. But it's always an uphill battle for land use, especially in land-scarce Singapore. The National Parks Board says only 1% of the nation's land is set aside for agricultural purposes. The Singapore Aquarium Fish Exporters Association says there is a pressing need for space. Singapore has traditionally been the one-stop shop for customers, mainly because of the varieties of fishes that we offer. Right, we bring in fishes from all around the world, you know, be it South America, Africa and Asia being out in our own backyard. And when customers buy from Singapore, they get to amalgate all kinds of fishes into one single order, and that really helps to lower the import costs for them. But finding a space big enough to quarantine these fish is a big task. That is why NPUX is encouraging farms to embrace technology that can optimise land use and boost productivity. To date, it has awarded $700,000 for four farms to support solutions such as automatic fish counters. According to Mr Chu, who also manages Sanyo Aquarium, technology has limitations. His firm uses an AI program to count the number of fish, but it cannot fully replace the human eye. Little telltale signs from the fish like flashing of the fins, you know, fin rod, these are things that will tell you whether the fish needs additional care. And current technology-wise, it is quite difficult to check on all the tanks that we have. Despite challenges, industry players remain hopeful as they expect global demand to remain stable.